Today we are going to be biking over the sand dunes of the Motu Trails. This morning we're meeting Headley at the Motu Trail base which is going to be setting us up with some awesome mountain bikes and it's going to take us in a shuttle to the beginning of the trail. It's one of the best trails to do around the Opotiki area and we can't wait. I wear shoes. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a race against the weather today so there's no time to wait around. So it's supposed to be raining today. Hey, what? <laughs> it probably will soon so we should yeah. go. And you know me, safety first. Always wear a helmet when cycling in New Zealand. The Motu Trails offers a shuttle service to the far end of the trail. This is going to take us 22 kilometers away from the base and we're going to be biking our way back toward the base through amazing New Zealand coastal landscapes. The trikes start literally on the beach. Luckily, there is some gravel and wooden pathways so the bikes don't get stuck uh, inside the sand. But it's an amazing way to start a mountain biking track. It's absolutely unique. I've never seen a mountain biking track literally on the sand. And it gives for an absolutely unique point of view. The trail that we're doing today is the Dunes Trail. And it's one of the three trails that makes the Motu Trails. After cycling alongside some amazing coastal cliffs and across a quaint little footbridge, we arrive at some amazing Po Whenua, which are tall Maori carved poles. They reach up to six meters high and a little information panel section tells us all about the Maori legends behind the carvings. One of the carvings faces east while the other one faces west to see the rising and setting sun and they're called the Guardians of Tirohanga which is the area we are currently in. After reading about the history of the Maori settlers around the area, we are jumping back onto our bikes to continue on the Dunes Trail. The Dunes Trail is 22 kilometers in total and takes two to three hours to do a return trip or half of that if you're doing a one-way trip like we're doing. It's a grade two trail, meaning it is pretty easy going. It's got just easy uphill, downhill gradients, not too strenuous, and one of the easiest tracks to do out of the Motu trails. It's so easy, in fact, that there's even signs encouraging you to relax. So we do exactly that when we see this cute little shelter by the beach and we decide to have a little bit of a rest. Our relaxing spot is right above Hikurai Beach, which is absolutely amazing. It's a long, stretching, stunning beachfront. And on a clear day, you can see Whale and White Island. And even if it's very, very clear, you can see the steam coming out of the only marine volcano in New Zealand, which is White Island. By the way, if you guys are interested about White Island, which is an absolutely amazing place to visit, Hit the subscribe button right now because in only a couple of days we're going to head there and check it out for ourselves. We're going to take you to the heart of the only marine volcano in New Zealand and we're super excited about that. But we are heading back on the road because we are trying to beat the rain and we can definitely see the rain coming right before our eyes so we need to rush. You can see the rain on the back over there coming toward us in a super dark cloud. But right here we like just right under the sun. Really bizarre, really bizarre. I've already mentioned that a little bit at the beginning of these videos, but I'm super impressed of the state of this trail. It's so well maintained. The gravel is absolutely perfect. There's some boardwalk, there's some very easy to maneuver doors for bikes. So you actually just hop off your bike and you can get out of there. It's so well made. This trail is perfect for beginners or for anyone looking for an easy cruisy ride. So it's getting real dark right now, we're still on the Motu Trail, we are about 5 kilometers from uh, the town, so we hope we're going to make it before the rain comes, if not, oh well, free shower, right? Yeah. yeah. This means we really need to pick up the pace to beat the rain, but luckily we are only doing one of the three Motu Trails. There are two others that we haven't mentioned so far, and that's the Motu Road Trail. That takes about six hours to complete. It's 67 kilometers long and grade three, meaning it's a more intermediate ride. There's also the Wilderness Pakihi Trail, which is two to four hours long, and that is a grade four gradient, meaning it's a little bit more for the adventurous. And you can actually combine 
all three Motu trails to make one large 91 kilometer loop. But with three kilometers left to go of the Dunes Trail, we are getting absolutely slammed by the rain. Instantly, the trail gets absolutely covered in water, but all we can do is keep on riding. We're just splashing through the puddles and it makes for a really fun end to our awesome day on the Dunes Trail. We quickly taking the time to dry ourselves and our clothes, or actually just changing them because there is no way we're going to be drying under this kind of awful weather. But it's New Zealand, so you know that after about 30 minutes, the weather turns to perfection. Look at this amazing sunny weather that we have when we arrive at the Hohope Holiday Park. This top 10 holiday park is absolutely amazing. It is gigantic. There is space for a thousand people. It's crazy. Plus, there is heaps of facilities here. They have their own swimming pool, their own mini golf, their own bouncing pillows. It's really awesome. And you know us, we take advantage of everything which is available when checking in. All those facilities are actually one of the reasons why we love staying in the holiday park rather than freedom camping. In freedom camping, you get the absolutely amazing sceneries, but in the holiday park, you have access to so many facilities for usually a very small fee. Mm -hmm. 